Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. You can see I've got my Z4 here and if you own a car this time of year you'll know what it's like. The winter is extremely harsh on your car. Salt, mud, grime, everything just builds up over time. And you can probably see, and you've probably seen this in recent videos, my car is absolutely filthy at the minute. So we're down here today at Bishop Auckland Detailing and I'm going to get this car cleaned. I'm also going to run through the steps with some of the do's and don'ts of things that you should do when washing a car when it's this dirty and during this time of year of course. So anyway, let's go meet the owner, Richard. Hiya guys, so um, my name's Richard. I am the owner of Bishop Auckland Detailing. Um, it's just a, a new company I've recently set up and we are here to look after the cars in the local area. We do everything from safe washing through to full correction and ceramic coating. So I've got a, a Facebook page, um, which is uh, Bishop Detailing or Bishop Auckland Detailing. Uh, and I've also got uh, an Instagram page as well. So uh, today Oliver's brought down his fantastic BMW Z4 Coupe. Um, what we're gonna do today to try and clear some of the, the salt and the grime that, uh, that's on the car that we, we get this time of the year. We're basically gonna do a, um, a full safe wash and we're gonna apply a layer of wax. Um, basically gonna start by fully decontaminating the wheels uh, then rinse the car down, the usual stuff, snow foam, um, hand wash, um, go for a iron fallout remover, tire and glue remover, clear by the car, and then we'll inspect it. And if the paint works where we need it to be, we'll then apply a glaze and a, um, probably a marine wax for durability. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do with the, the Z4 is we're gonna flush the arches out, we're gonna clean the tires, which is the first step of the wheel decontamination. For this, I'm using Built Amber Surfex, which is just a, a water-based degreaser. The, the wheels after we've done the, the decontamination of the arches is, is to actually clean the wheels themselves. So for this I'm going to use a Valet Pro Bilberry wheel cleaner. It's a non-acid wheel cleaner, it's very safe um, and we'll follow it up with a, a fallout remover afterwards. Clean or cleaner, um, fallout remover time should remove all the iron particles and break dust that's stuck under the rim. Right, so um, we've got the wheels cleaned off. Uh, next stage is just to get the, the bodywork cleaned off and, and uh, the, the muck off it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the car a um, spray with just some fresh water and then I'm going to go over the car with a Surfex basically just to break down any old wax that's on there and help you know, give it a deeper clean. Um, once we've done that we can um, snow foam it and uh, get it ready for hand wash. now is we've just literally covered the car in Surfex which is a, a water-based degreaser mainly because I want to try and strip any of the existing wax off the car before we put the snow foam on. What I'll do in a second I'll, while that's dwelling I will put the snow foam on just to sort of sit on top of this and then we'll wash it off as, a, as the next stage. Thank you. 
So we've snuff on the car and we've got the majority of the, the road grime off it and the large deposits. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to hand wash the car. Hopefully now there'll be nothing on there that's going to mar the paint when we actually come into contact with it. Uh, shampoo we're going to use today, uh, shameless plug for Autoglim Ultra High Definition Shampoo. Uh, let's see how it, how it turns out. Now we've washed the car um, with a contact wash, we're going to start to take the contaminants out of it. So we'll use an iron and fallout remover. This one's by G Technic, but obviously there's various different ones available. Um, put it in a pump spray and we'll just uh, liberally coat the car and let it do its thing. So what we're going to do next, once we've done the iron fallout remover, we're going to use tar and bloom remover. Um, I'm just going to do around the sides and the back of the car where the tar deposits tend to get uh, stuck to the paintwork. Uh, the next step after this will be clay bar. However, on this car we're not going to do clay bar because the paintwork's in really good condition and we don't feel it needs that, um, that step. dried off or mainly dried off. Uh, the paint works in really good condition uh, especially for a black car so what we're going to do because we haven't got the time at the moment to do a full correction we're just going to look at certain areas like for example I don't know if the camera can pick it up but around the washer jets we've had uh, marking on the bonnet where the, the washer jets have um, marked the paint so what we're going to do is we're going to um, Hit it with a, a D in and polish this these sort of areas and just see if we can make some improvements on it. So okay guys, so we've um We've just had a quick polish of the bonnet there and uh, made some improvements but like I say, because the paint's so good on the car, what we're going to do is we're going to seal it using a glaze and then we're going to put a, a wax on it. So the first stage of the, the process is we're going to use something called black hole which is um, a glaze, it'll just help the wax bond with the paintwork a bit better give it a slightly deeper shine um, and the other thing with this particular product as well is it will actually mask any um, micro imperfections it's got fillers built into the product so because we haven't machine polished the car today this hopefully will help the finish um, and the end result that's the car with the, uh, the glaze on it which we've used as a almost a primer I suppose for the wax and what we're going to use now is we're going to use a quite an old wax but um, more of a marine wax it's a, a colonite 476 and this is a it's not the most expensive wax in the world but it's really really durable so it's really good to use at this time of the year um, like I say it's a marine wax that's designed to repel salt and will be used in sort of the you know, boat and boating industry I support so it lends itself really well to um, protect new car. So, um, so the car's now had a full coat of wax on it. Uh, what I'm going to do now just to sort of finish the wax off, I'm going to put this detail and spray on. 
Uh, two reasons really. First thing is it will make the paint look a little bit deeper. It will give it a little extra layer of protection. But secondly, if you miss this on, it just helps you find if you've missed any sort of wax when you've been buffing the car off. So we'll give this a go and uh, see how it looks. Okay, so we've, uh, we've now detailed the car and got the, the rest of the wax off the car, put the last layer of protection on. Um, next thing we're going to do is the glass, so we're going to do the, the exterior of the glass first and um, move on to the trim. Okay guys, so you can see we've got the car here behind me. Um, just It looks absolutely phenomenal. Just want to thank Richard for his hard work today. Um, yeah, we haven't had the most time in the world to do it, have we? But it's come out really well, so. It's, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a, quite a short detail. So we've, like, but like you say, we, we had a set time scale yeah, and absolutely. We've, we've done what we could with the time available and uh, we've spent a few hours on it. She, yeah. She looks quite shiny. Yeah, yeah, the, the depth of the paint is something that I'm going to hopefully try and show on those shots I've just been overlaying there, but. Um, yeah, it's phenomenal really, this colour is, it's very metallic, so you really get the sort of depth of the colour to it, and uh, yeah, Richard's work has definitely helped to show that off, so Thanks, yeah, um, so if you guys, especially if you're in the northeast, I want you to go and check out Bishop Auckland Detailing's pages, I'll link them below, also put the things on screen now, and yeah, if you want to detail, then what, can they just get in touch with you? Yeah, they'll see me on uh, Facebook and Instagram, which is just Bishop Auckland Detailing. Yeah. Um, like I say, it's just a new business I've uh, set up, so hopefully next time we're on the channel, or next time, yeah. well, hopefully within the next sort of couple of weeks, I'll have a floor in eventually, which yep. apparently is COVID-related. That's why I've <laughs> only been waiting for it for like two weeks. Yeah, but, uh, yeah hopefully but, it'll get sorted. But yeah, if anybody um, you know, wants any... Uh, any quotes or they want any sort of um, information just send us a message on on Facebook yeah my, my mobiles on there my emails on there and be more than happy to help out where I can that's great yeah all right so you guys heard it from Richard go check him out uh, yeah I just want to thank you for watching hope you found this video informative and useful um, so yeah see you in the next video